Opening the sample, a wonderful aroma spreads in the room. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle. Here on my cask it's a Darwini Winter's Gold, 43% ABV, around 40 euros, dollars, pounds and uh, it was introduced to the market in summer 2015 and uh, I got a sample from the distributor so I have something to, to taste here and uh, this one is an addition to the Dalvini 15 years old I think I had that already it's one of my favorite whiskies it's with 15 years it's quite old it's affordable it costs around 30 to 35 and uh, it's well balanced and intense and honeyed heather and this one is a second one without an age statement i'm afraid and uh, well it's a selection of whiskies which were produced in the winter time from october to march or april and in that time at the high altitude of Dalwini, uh, snow is everywhere. So there is a cold and frosty climate in the winter and there is a quite warm summer and this temperature difference, well, has also an impact on the whiskey. Uh, <laughs> the card box is quite weak. I think the 15 year old is a little bit thicker. Uh, and here the winter gold. Set in Scotland's remote highlands, Dalwini is Scotland's highest and coldest distillery. That's not true. Uh, I think uh, Tomintal lies higher. And up there in the valley I had also a lot of more snow uh, than at the Dalwini. The exposed mountain pastures offer no shelter from winter's icy winds. Well, they're lying uh, well at the top of the uh, the road and uh, the wind is really cold there. I was there in February and there are some uh, pictures of this white and snow and blue uh, sky Darwini lying in February up there and those pictures I have in the whiskey database. Have a look and search for the wonderful pictures. Snow blankets the distillery for half of the year but the harshest conditions can bring the sweetest rewards. Dalwini Winter's Gold is only distilled from spirit made between October and March. Our Scottish Unbelievable! Dalwini Winter's Gold is only distilled from spirit. Is it redistilled? Whisky, I think, may not be redistilled. Uh, made uh, between October and March, our Scottish winter. As the snow falls and the air is sharp with frost, the cold copper intensifies our liquid and, is, and its rich, deep character unfolds. When the winter grows colder, our liquid becomes gentler and warmer. This is true. Um, the Banff distillery was uh, shut down because they didn't have enough water to cool uh, the whiskey or in the production process. Uh, the vapors back again to whiskey and it wasn't cool enough uh, to have a good distillation going on. If the still house is frosty cold and you start up heating the still then the vapors rise in the neck of the still and the cold copper outside uh, leads uh, to a reflux. So the vapors condense at the wall of the still and then they flow back uh, into the pot and this redistillation leads to a smoother, more gentle whiskey. So this is a true effect uh, of the winter. And because Darwini lies so high in the mountain and the pass road, uh, there you have minus 10, minus 20 degrees uh, centigrade easily. So distillation in winter brings different results than in summer. 
Uh, the result is a golden spirit with a smooth honey taste. Hints of spice mingle with soft heather notes, culminating in a whiskey as heartwarming as our winters are bleak. Wonderful. If you open the box, then, oops, you have a plastic cover. And this plastic cover uh, is a marketing gimmick. It costs half a cent or even less and protects the whiskey from fingerprints and shows you that there is a special care about this bottle. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's colored and I don't know how much. Um, so that you, well, there's a lot of mimicry inside this, uh, this bottle. As I said, I got a sample from the distributor, so I do not have to open the bottle. And uh, <laughs> the distributor might not be happy what I just said here uh, about the missing age statement on the bottle and the colored content. So, but that's true. I can't hide those facts. Um, and if I do not receive those samples, well, I will open it, <laughs> a true one. Uh, opening the sample, a wonderful aroma spreads in the room. So this is more than typical for a single malt whiskey. So this aromatic, fruity character rising from this sample and now from the glass, it's, it's wonderful. It's sweet, it's honeyed, it's fruity. And in the back there is, it's officially some smoke, but no, I can't detect any smoke, but a little mints. Yeah, this might be translated in some brains into smoke. Yes, a little colder, air co uh, nose cooling. It's a full and strong aroma, it's wonderful. But I'm missing the vanilla, I'm missing caramel. <clears throat> so I can't really believe the color of the, in this bottle. But it's a wonderful aroma. Yeah, have a sip. Mm. In the beginning, a little weak, watery in your mouth, not very intense, and then some burning on your tongue. And it's not the alcohol. I know how 43% ABV is burning on my tongue. No, this is something else. It's, it's a little peppery. It's like the, well, the cousin of this bottle in the Classic Mold of Scotland series, the Chalisker, has this peppery chili catch in the taste. Here it comes for a few seconds on my tongue and then it fades away. And uh, I'm missing the oak. I'm missing the, the complexity of the wood, the spiciness. So it's quite young, but I do not uh, find these metallic note or the, the, the covering of your mouth with this young, fresh spirit. No, this is definitely seven, eight, nine, ten years old, maybe a little bit older or some casks in it older. And there is very few, if none, whiskey, uh, young whiskey in it. So I would say they should have dared themselves to write an age statement on this, even if there is an eight years old on it. Why not? Well, it's complicated. Eight years for a 40 uh, euro bottle and 30 or 35 euros for a 15 year old bottle? That does not match. So they have to have something different and uh, tell good stories and have good whiskey in the glass uh, to bring people to pay more for a whiskey which is less on the paper in terms of age statement and yeah. So the, the smell is wonderful. The taste is a little bit 
disappointing the wrong word. It's a little less than what I expected. And there's some, some weird in the back. I'm not quite sure what it is. Yeah. Mm. Again, the peppery note and some molasses. That's what I do not like at all at rum. So rum is not my spirit. No, not at all. Uh, there is this taste of molasses in, in the rum and I, I can't stand that. And there is a, a hint of this molasses in the taste and therefore the aftertaste is not mine. No, after the second one it's quite clear this is not mine. It's a wonderful aroma. It's a, well, a short and an impressive taste. And the aftertaste is, well, if I have to taste a whiskey which is uh, finished in rum cask, then it's always a, mm, I have to. I do not want to, but I have to. Uh, and here this hint of molasses is what I'm, I'm not liking. Yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. There's more to come. I'm opening another Darwini bottle right now and we'll see it in a few days. Uh, it's a 29 year old Darwini and I'm, I'm eager to have it. And uh, if you want to discuss this bottle and the taste of this bottle with me, uh, I do not answer questions on YouTube any longer, please come on whiskey.com in our forum or our blog where this video is also published and there I will discuss with you my thoughts about this or your thoughts about this bottle in detail. Thank you very much for watching.